Hello everyone, here's Ray from UC Santa Barbara. I would like to introduce our work Semi-Supervised Policy Initialization for playing games with language hints. You can also see our paper by the lower left link. Firstly, I want to talk about why a model needs language hint when playing games. Most reinforcement learning methods rely to explore the environment and maximize the feedback reward, while it is difficult to design reward for each action step. So a common setting is only give out the achieved signal, like it achieves the goal or it wins or not. As we know, this sparse reward makes agent very challenging to learn from, and sometimes the policy just give up due to the difficulty. On the other hand, length hint can be seen as an additional dense reward. After each action, we check that if actions correlate with the given hint, and we can treat this correlation as reward. So the dense reward can be provided by the language hint each step. To evaluate under playing games with language hint, we conduct the following task in the environment, in the experiments. We have 45 different tasks under the Atari Montezuma Revenge environment. Each task contains a starting state, an unknown final goal, and a given hint. The agent has to explore the environment and finally achieve the goal position with the help of given hint. The baseline EXT language is from IJCI 19, using language for reward shaping in reinforcement learning. They first collect human demo clips with instruction to learn from the correlation between action and hint. The correlation is a kind of related score between the action frequency and language comment. Then, during each task training, they can have two kinds of reward. One is from the environment, which is sparse and represents the achieved signal. Second is provided by the hint, which is dense for each action step and is a scalar between 0 to 1. However, they miss something important. Since each task contains only one given hint, it might be incomplete. The unmentioned latent hints relied on the exploration in the environment and still suffer from the sparse reward issue. For instance of this state, jump over the school is the given hint, but both climb up the ladder and jump to get the key are useful latent hints that models should be also considered. Therefore, we present semi-supervised initialization, aka SSI, that enables agent to experience various possible hints in advance then we can have a better initialized policy during the further task training. And there are some steps in our SSI. First, we have hint module edge that generate possible hints i for random states. The policy module p recurrent steps action a based on state s. With action a and hint l, the reward module r updates policy module p based on the correlation just as the baseline EXT language does. If we do the above numerous times, different state S to hint module H will let policy module P learn from different possible hints L. Finally, policy module P serves as better initialized during task training. In detail, hint module H is an image captioner, which adopts CNN to extract visual feature from state S and GRU to decode the language hint L. And Edge is pre-trained on collected human demo clips, which include pairs of state frame and text description. Policy module P is a recurrent action selector, which steps action A, T for state ST. Same as the baseline EXT language, reward module R is a binary classifier that provides correlation score between action frequency A and hint L. This reward can be used to update the policy module P with any reinforcement learning algorithm. And in our paper, we use proximal policy optimization, aka PPO. As a better initialized policy, policy module P further optimized by both reward environment and reward hint during the task training. Okay. Let's talk about the experiments part where we compare our EXT language SSI with the baseline EXT language. The upper part is about the success rate. In general, 
our EXT language SSI has higher success rate under the same training step than EXT language. And in the end, our EXT language SSI achieves about 27% final success rate, which is 11% relative improvement over EXT language. The lower plot is about the accumulated success episodes. Our EXT language SSI learns faster. For example, it requires 500,000 steps for EXT language to succeed 2.7k episodes. But for our EXT language SSI, it only needs 420k, which leads to a 1.2 times speed up during task training. And if we see the task study, EST language has 35 success rate for text 5. But our EXT language SSI achieves the same success rate using only 100k training steps and can have even higher in the end. For task 7, which is a quite difficult one, EXT language almost fails. But our EXT language SSI finally reached 40% with the help of better initialization. Here is some qualitative examples of language hint L that are generated by hint module edge. It shows that those hints are actually corresponding to the state, so policy module P can learn from latent but useful hints by our hint module. That is all about our semi-supervised policy initialization, aka SSI. Here's Ray from UCSB. Thank you.